Welcome to Bass Lake Provincial Park. We are staying here for two nights and I'm gonna show you around and let you know what I think. So come explore the park with me. Bass Lake Provincial Park is located in Aurelia, Ontario, approximately one and a half hours north of Toronto. This park is known for its swimming, boating, and wildlife, and is a picturesque park to visit. When we arrived, there was plenty of parking at the park office to check in. There was an information board out front with some park information, and you can also purchase ice and firewood while you're checking in, which was pretty convenient. So it seems that the water filling station, the official one is right by the entrance where we just came in. So we either have to loop around and go back there or we can go up to this trailer filling station if we have our own hose, which we do. So Alan, it is up to you. We decided to go with the second filling station because it was further into the park near our campsite and we had to use our own hose, which was not a problem. We were able to hook up our hose and our water filter. So that's pretty great. And there's nobody else here and it's about 3.30. This is located right in the recycling and garbage area, which I will show you now. That is over by the entrance to the park. So we drove down here and then we just turned in and are easily able to fill up the trailer. So over here you can see that there is recycling and over here you can see the garbage behind the fence. After filling our trailer with water, we made our way to the hilltop campground and we were staying on site 120. It was a fairly large site for our small trailer and it was quite flat, which was nice. We got all set up and then went out to explore the park. I'm currently on the Waterview Trail, which is one of two hiking trails here at Bass Lake. And so far it's very well maintained and isn't too difficult. It's like a nice pathway. And it starts with a beautiful little boardwalk through a marshy area. Down by the boat launch area, there is a pet exercise area. They want you to keep your dogs leashed, but they can roam around here and you do have to clean up after your pets. Then just over to my left here, you will see that there is a boat launch area. You cannot dock overnight. It is just for launching your boat and getting it out of the water. And it looks like a very popular lake for boating. So let's go take a closer look. It actually looks like they have a few different dock and boat launch areas here. We are on a dock right now that looks like you can keep your boats for a longer period of time. It's right beside the boat launch area where they say you're not permitted to park your boat overnight. So that might be something to look into if you are bringing a boat here. Oh God. Okay, gross. Oh. I wish I was being dramatic right now, but my eyes are watering because of how terrible the vault toilets smelled at the boat lunch area. <laughs> and Alan's making fun of me because he's like, oh yeah, let's just take a peek inside and see how dirty they are. He was not exaggerating and I would not use those toilets. If you do come down to the boat launch area, you can also access the Cedar Campground. This is a very small campground, one of four here at Bass Lake, and there's only a handful of sites here, so it is more private and off the beaten path. We are on our way to the park store from the boat launch area, and it says that you can drive here, but this is not a very clearly marked road. 
So we don't know if it's just one way or if it's two way traffic, but people are going both ways here and it is a very narrow area. So we think that you're just supposed to yield to the bigger vehicle, but just note that these are very narrow roads and they are poorly marked down by the boat launch. The park store is located down by the lake, which is very convenient because this is where you can rent your canoes, kayaks, and paddle boards. They also have a variety of essentials, souvenirs, and park merchandise for sale inside. And you can also get worms for fishing, and they have a coffee station. At the park store, you can also rent canoes, kayaks, and stand-up paddle boards, and it seems like it's very popular. So if you are trying to get a canoe, come early because it's on a first come, first serve basis. They also have a dock right by the park store that you can easily launch your vessel, or if you are bringing your own, I would recommend doing it at the boat launch area because there's an easier parking situation and you can bring it much easier than coming to the park store. And if you're looking to rent a picnic shelter, they have a few available here that you can reserve in advance. Number three is located right by the park store washrooms and the day use area. By the park store, there is also a bathroom comfort station area. It was quite busy because it's also located right by the day use area, which I'm gonna show you now. It's already pretty busy and it's only about one o'clock. We are now at the beach area. We just parked and even though it's about one o'clock, there's still quite a bit of parking left and it is filling up quickly. We're gonna go check out the beach area now. There was a small playground by the beach and day use area and had plenty of shaded areas from all the big trees. The beach itself wasn't huge, but there was still a lot of room when we were there. As always, I'd recommend getting there early if you wanna get a good spot if you plan to spend the day. There was a large roped off swimming area and clear water with a nice sandy bottom, perfect for swimming. Pets aren't allowed on the sandy beach area, but we saw a number of dogs on the grassy picnic areas behind the beach. Now time for an overview of the campgrounds. Bass Lake Provincial Park actually has four campgrounds with a total of 258 sites, not including their group campground. And while we were here, their roofed accommodations were closed, so we weren't able to go check those out. If you're looking for electric, you're gonna wanna check out the east side that is completely electric and hilltop that is mostly electric sites. If you're looking for non-electric, the Lakeview would be your best bet because the entire campground is non-electric, but there are also some non-electric sites in the hilltop campground. The comfort stations in Lakeview have five showers and there are also flush toilets for men and women. And this comfort station is different than the other one for Hilltop and Eastside because it's for this entire campground, whereas Hilltop and Eastside have to share a comfort station between the two campgrounds. And an interesting fact from Alan. The Lakeview campsites don't actually have a Lakeview. So I just checked out the comfort station between the east side and hillside campground. It is a shared comfort station. There are four showers and then there are flush toilets for men and women and they're decently clean compared to some of the other rest stations here around the park. One of the washrooms is just a vault and the other one is actually a flush toilet. So if you are in this campground and you wanna be close to the bathrooms, site 114 is right behind it. And there are also neighboring sites that are pretty close. Well, we made it back to the boat launch area and we have our inflatable kayak. So we're gonna go give Bass Lake a try. We have made it out and we are kayaking. I'm currently trying to do it one-handed because I wanted to get close to the little ducks over here. It's very relaxing. I am relaxed. 
You look so relaxed. It's our final morning here, which means it's time for my overall thoughts of our stay at Bass Lake Provincial Park. Let's start with what I liked about this park. I like that it wasn't very large. They only have less than 300 sites here, so it made it feel nice and manageable and not too busy. I also really liked the beach area. It was a nice sandy beach. It had crystal clear water and there was a decently sized swimming area. There was also adequate parking down there because you could easily find a spot. Another thing I really liked was the lake. Even though motorized boats were allowed on the lake, it didn't feel too wavy or rough. And there was a lot of people out there in canoes and kayaks and stand up paddle boards, but it was really easy to spread out because the water was calm. So you didn't have to stay in the same area. I also liked that it was only about a 10 minute drive to a large shopping area if you needed anything. There was a Walmart, Canadian Tire, Home Depot, and a grocery store conveniently located. Now it's time for what I thought were the more negative aspects of the park. The first thing I want to mention is the cleanliness of the cumbered stations and the vault toilets around the park. We stopped in at a few down by the waterfront area and they were filthy. And the cumbered stations that we went to were also not very clean. So I think we may have just came at a bad time and they weren't clean yet, but they were filthy every time we visited them. So that's something I didn't really like about this park. I also didn't really like that it's on a main road here. So you get road noise all day and into the evening. So if you don't want to hear road noise, this park may not be for you, or you may want to pick an interior site so that you can lessen that noise. And that's it. We really enjoyed our time here. We would definitely come back in the future. And we think it's a great spot if you really enjoy being at the water because they have a beautiful lake. So here we have the sewage dumping station. As you can see, there is one sewer and they do have a hose that is non-threaded over there if you need to flush out. And if you go around this way where you drive in from, there is a freshwater fill-up station way over there. And that's one thing I didn't really like about uh, the setup here is that you actually have to go check in and then you would have to drive around the registration building to come back and fill up if you don't have a hose to fill up at the other station at the garbage and recycling center. So if you're coming here and you wanna fill up, that's something you should probably know. It's pretty smelly here because dump stations can be pretty smelly, but right across the street, if you look behind me, you can see some campsites there. It's site 228 and 226. So if the wind is coming this way and there's a lot of dumping action happening, you may be getting that smell over in those sites. And that is Lakeview 226 and 228. So I would avoid those just in case it does smell like sewage. I hope this video could be helpful if you're planning your own trip to Bass Lake in the near future. And we've been to a number of other Ontario parks this summer and I've experienced great things and I've done videos about all of them. So I've linked to those in the description below. And there's going to be more. We're going to a number of other campgrounds this season and I'm going to be doing videos about all of them. So stay tuned for those. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more camping and travel videos coming soon.